I'm like constantly trying to solve problems. Even in my downtime, I'm using problem solving to have fun. Fishing for me is problem solving. I get out on the water, the fish aren't where they're supposed to be. My job as a fisherman is to locate the fish and find the fish. When you're presented with a problem in life, you don't immediately think, even as a Christian, oh, thank you God for this opportunity. I know it for a fact that you do know when you're at the end of that problem and there's a resolution, you see back and you see how God has helped you along that, that path. You know, all of my childhood was lived on the Salisbury Road. That just happened to be across the street from ABC, as we called it. They had a cool little area you could skateboard, so I would kind of use it for skateboarding. I would be in the woods building cabins. I was even let in a couple times, and we had, there was a gym in there with nice basketball hoops, so we'd go in there and play some basketball once in a while, too. You know, I always did good in high school, had good marks. path was go to Mount Allison University and do science. Nobody in my family had ever gone to university, so it's not like anybody gave me advice on, hey, you should go to this school because it's a good school, or I went there. Followed the stream. It was like I was in a river, and that's where it was going, and that's where the people that had good marks went. Two years into that, my son was born. There's a problem you need to solve. You're 20 years old and you have a kid. So I pivoted really quickly. Um, then I went and took a college diploma in accounting. And shortly after that, I went right into the workplace and I worked for a really large global company. I thought my education was done. I didn't want to go back to school. I had managers and, and you know mentors and stuff like this have conversations with me to say, hey, Travis, you need, you need to go back to school. Every two years, I'm getting a promotion. My salary keeps on going up. Tell me why, what's in it for me? And it was this point where one of my very good friends in the workplace gave me this, this wisdom and he said, if this place ever closed down, you wouldn't be able to make the money that you make today or have the job that you have today without a degree. He said that to me and it was just like eyes opening. And, and it just hit me, I was like, it's not for me, it's not for my career, it's actually for my family. It was like, that's the reason. Someone has finally given me the reason. Crandall was like right there. It was, it was like right there. I had all this encouragement and it, bam, like that was just another piece that slid in for me. One of the things that kind of shocked me right away was a, a lot, almost all of the classes I think were set up in like this U shape style. And it was just like, huh, okay. Well, that's different. Like, I've been to university, I've been to college, I've been to high school, I've seen it all, and a lot of times it's just these classroom-style seating. And when I went in there, it felt more like my workplace. It felt like we were adults, it felt like we were professionals, and then now we were just gonna sit around and have a conversation. Yes, there's lecturing and there's teaching, but it opened my eyes. I, I was taught how to think. In the classroom, I really learned how to have a conversation, stay level-headed, and just be objective. It was set up perfectly for me, the commitment with my family and the way they structured it. And you know what, I didn't even actually know that at the time. It was like when I got there, I realized how well structured it was for a working professional. And then going back to school and getting that education at exactly the time I needed, like exactly the time that I needed it. I didn't ever plan on working for another company. Uh, and then I got news that, hey, you know, they're closing the office in town and um, I had to find a new job. This problem that I now was presented with that I didn't realize I was being set up for, I had to solve. And I, and I now had the tools to solve it. And you know what? The job I have now, I would not have been able to get without the degree. 
I, I think a lot of people in life, they, they would look back on that and say, well, you know, that's lucky. As a Christian, I look back and I go, God was taking care of me all that way. Like, that, that wasn't me, that was him. Like, I mean, how do you explain it? People were asking me to go back to school and I was blatantly telling them no. Like years, years of people telling me this. And Crandall is here in my backyard. There's many, many, many situations in my life where uh, I didn't see it at first, but when it's all said and done, you go, you know what, you were taking care of me. You were 100% taking care of me.